Hello everybody, uh, this is another Let's Play we're doing Encased. First off, I think this is really neat here, how they have like a little map to show you how far they are from the release. Um, so we are going to start this. You remember how it all started. And I'm not going to talk to you this part. The year was 1971. The dome was discovered in a remote desert a gigantic structure of unknown origin. Then, the leading world powers founded the Cronus Corporation with the purpose of researching it. Scientists and other experts were transported inside the dome from Crystal Sands, a city built at its foot. The Spire Station was also built at the top of the mysterious formation, and all the goods and personnel were moving through it to reach the lands beneath the dome. Cronus promised the flourishing of the civilization in its advertising materials, teleportation technology, flying cars, new power sources, the cure for all diseases, maybe even eternal life. Who knows? We thought it's our golden ticket. We thought these hospitality open doors led us to the greatest treasury in the universe. And although it was impossible to leave the dome, this subtle warning didn't stop us. Our faith in the better future made us blind. We were looking for new technologies and found millions of strange mechanisms we didn't know how to use. We were searching for immortality, but we lost so many lives. We let the genie out of the bottle and we had no idea what it will take in exchange for fulfilling our wishes. We were delusional, not seeing the big picture. In September 1976, the day you were delivered from Spire to Magellan Station, the delusions were never stronger. Countess, if I remember right, I believe either had to do with time or to do with, um, what do you call it, to do with um, immortality. So that's interesting. So, apparently, as you can see here, um, they're a little more diverse than some, uh, I don't even know what you call it, some character creation areas. We're going to have the gender male and the body type female, so they're fairly all inclusive here. Um, and they have gender female, other male. Uh, <laughs> I'm curious. I'll do that. Um, John C. Riley, ladies and gentlemen, in the game. Trying to decide upon a picture here. But I feel like having my guy be a bit grizzled would be good. Silver when your managers, black wing are military, you seem to be. Um, Workers. Interesting. That means some new scientists. Blue wing. Uh, maybe just the working class blue collar person. 
wanted to check these out now. I'm trying to see what I want as far as my character creation goes. I'm trying to go in with the idea of doing a sort of Han solo y type person. So we'll kind of go with that. I feel like he would be a mix of orange wing, a bit of black wing training, and a bit of blue wing, but mostly orange wing. So we'll go with this now. Uh, interesting to note here that I start off with zero extra tribute points, so I will have to. I think we go some of these around. Charisma is one I never leave on a default bonus, depending on what it is. I like the person to be, at the very least, suitable. Right now, I have some tag skills, much like you would, I think, have in Fallout, but I wonder what Albus is. So that's two. There's three, so it looks to me like even if I haven't picked a tag still yet, I can grab a few of these, so that's kind of interesting, guys. Um, let's take a look here. There's light weapons, heavy weapons, high tech weapons, hand to hand, melee weapons, science and stealth. Socially, there's the criminal, speech, gambling, leadership, smart is contractions, pilots, piloting, medicine, survival. If I had to guess on a whim, I'd say I like something from combat, subsequent, 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 smart. I'm gonna go with white, white weapons, I think, here. Let's see if I just click this box, and I'm correct. Um, so let's start with that. Uh, let's see, what kind of things does speech have? To me, speech, charm. Um, so yeah, what is criminal? Lockpicking, pickpocketing. Oh. Go ahead with speech, I feel like to be a more ethical and useful skill. Not an outright bad dude. And the last one would probably be. It's a feeling contraptions is like the. Uh, like everything, but that's not available in this current build, so we're gonna go with survival. I feel like those are good across the board ones now. Uh, let's see, what are these? Okay, so green are things I seem to be able to buy immediately and use, and then they turn the sort of tan to let me know I have them. So I seem to have a few options here. So let's try and grab at least one skill from each of these. So, okay, I'm gonna do that, and then I still have four points there, ability points I already used. Um, so, let's worry about the ones I have, shall we? Survival, I can pick reconnaissance. Um, voracious, capacious equipment built. Cookery. Dismantling strip. Uh, dismantling seems interesting. Let's go ahead and try cookery for this one. Our consensus is two, being able to carry more than one. But dismantling can let me grab things and pull out the important bits on them. We'll come back to that one because I'm not quite sure yet. Food scanning seems good. Anything that I can scan and do. We can create a repair mechanical equipment, gunsmithing, tailoring. So these are all I'm missing too. So I can either do tailoring or I can do mechanics and gunsmithing. I'll try gunsmithing and thing. I'll say one thing about the character creation here is there's a good variety of things I feel like you can do on this. Um uh, seriously, a lot of stuff. Now, uh, speech is a tricky, tricky icky here because I feel like there's charm, intimidation, conviction. Uh, 
better. Let me go with better first. I feel like better is a very needed one. So I get one here, I'm gonna go with lock picking. Pickpacking is not really my thing per se. And hand. So yeah, as you can see here, each one of these sections has their own points that you get to spend things on. Uh, and I like it because I feel like it's already letting me be a... Oh, so I did a passive. Yeah. Go ahead and take a few driving lessons here and then we'll try. Maybe something that will be a skill with driving since I have two more points and maybe uh, the ability to knock vehicles off the road is start. Now survival, I have to decide what my last two points are going in. Is there another one? Well, I don't know, man. I could do this belt. I could do this. So I think we're going to do that, guys. And that will give me quite a bit there. So uh, I'll tell you one thing. There, there's certainly a lot you can do on this, I think. It looks pretty darn good so far. I'm going to scroll up make sure I didn't miss anything. And then down here they have this option. I'm going to make sure I didn't miss anything green here. Uh, and again, I'd like to note this is not the final version of this game. It is just a EA right now where we access. And we're off to the races. Uh, sure. I'm going to skip the intro. So we'll see one thing. Let's see, read. I'm not reading this out loud, guys, because. Uh, hold on. Your figures open, the birds are gone. Your temporary pass will open doors for your chat with the guard by a cloud sound. You may even read the funicular. But the other is just keep your handcuffs where they can see them. Another one, well, you're just another prisoner in the orange. Now you're an orange wing employee. Yeah, I picked orange wing because of the fact that I feel like. Um, I wanted to do something a bit more gruff, a grittier character. I tend to like those. Uh, and this is actually a role-playing game. There are some elements here, I feel, that are sort of a... Choose your own adventure. Um, if you do want to see... Actually, this is pretty cool too here, guys. All these hand-painted scenes. I'm just going to run through all of this. The server seems to be leadership. She seems to be quite, uh, quite not happy. Oh uh, yeah, there's some elements here of a choose your own adventure game. Uh, I was reading that this is definitely inspired by Fallout 1 and 2, which I like. So that's um, interesting. Alright, so now we're going somewhere, I'm not sure where, but I think, uh, to go see it. I think I forgot to name my character, by the way, guys. <laughs> There's a name thing, and I just realized, yeah, see, none. So we will call my guy no one. And nobody is a nod to the uh, dead name. I'm gonna say, I, I... You can tell here earlier I was messing around with this a bit. Um, so yeah, we're gonna do that. I don't even know. Oh wait. I'll get some more stuff going on here. So the elevator seems to have been stopped. Let's get in there. Let's get some boxes. 
Alright, got a few things. Let's sell. There's a guy over there just talking on himself, and I don't know if I need to be concerned with him, but I'm gonna go ahead and say I probably should. He's saying how am I supposed to sell it? I'm gonna have to get mad if I like this spread of dust in there. We're gonna try it. Nope, he doesn't like that. Oh, now we're going to the snitches get stitches phase of this. Maybe telling this dude I was gonna exacting what we were probably wasn't the best thing to do. Nice, so I have a few skills already here. Let's see right at the bottom. I'm just gonna go straight up and start wailing on him. See what I can do. Apparently, I can't do much. That didn't work good. Oh, Jesus. Pressure blindness. That's definitely not in my guy's favor, is it? This is literally my first fight, and I already got five across the eyes. Alright, we can do this. Knock him out. I knew I should have put points in on him. God, look at all the blood coming from my dude. He is just wailing on me. Alright, so. Nice. What you got there? Better kick. Maybe, maybe, there's something here. I can look into it. Oh, look at that. Alright, so. to look up Dr. Kurt Rudow, because apparently this person may not have the hospital's interest in heart. I'm curious to see if I can do anything with crafting or... Um, anyways. Let's go fix this thing and let's we can just get down the friggin' elevator, shall we? That's the next key for that, which is always awesome. Oh, glad we take scissors. So here's a question for you guys who are watching. What uh, would be the, the skills that you would have picked if you were dealing with the apocalypse? To me, the reason I picked that one is because I feel like, uh, for one thing, it just seemed logical. As far as that went, you know what I mean? Just seemed like the sort of thing you would, um... When it comes down to survival, I feel like that's something that I would really go for in real life. I try to read tons of dumb things that I may never need, but I am a person who does definitely read, you know, what plants are medicinal, what plants are this? Welcome to what are your the local plans station. that are this, that, and the other thing? And uh, you all may laugh now, but I would argue that basically, I would argue that uh, all knowledge is good knowledge, and basically, um, Dictate the data down. Yeah. 
The uniform for storage, the weapon in the armory, complete training at the training ground. Learn how to use a scanner, avoid anomalies, obtain scientific knowledge on the white and war ball. After this, return to me and I'll tell you what I need you to do next. Hmm. I'm not going to be telling anybody a scumbag right now, because first of all, I feel like that's probably not the best of ideas right now. That is a big friggin' gun. I have this little scanner thing I think will be this. Oh, I have an actual codex, do I? Ooh, can I talk to this lady? Yeah, I can. Now, right off the bat, I'm not trying to be a total jerk to everybody. I feel like that would just be stupid. Yes, we got cold with these noodles. I don't know what that is, but... So normal cash is a code. Combines, official Cronus currency. Well, I feel like that's definitely one thing that's true no matter where you are, is everybody's got their everything has their money, you know. Um, so we are first of all going to be taking a quick look around guys. We can check the mail, the news, the stat, and the out. Uh, let's try mail first. And I have two. But they don't play. So I need to find storage, level negative two. So with my weapons, armory, level negative three. And how do you use a scanner? Four. Dude, I just got a free helmet just for checking it out. I check the news. I always like to read the news because I feel like uh, sometimes it could be something a developer has when it comes to like the game, you know, some exclusive thing, something like that. Other times, it's I think it's just good to immerse yourself in. If you're going to be playing a role-playing game, let's try and immerse yourself in it a bit. And uh, clearly. Let me tell you my thoughts so far, because you know I got stuff here about this. Uh, I like it. Definitely loving the artwork. Oh. Okay, so already, they're like, what are you doing? You need to be going here and going to registration. So i tell you what I'm going to do first. I'm not going to piss off my employer. Two, um, I'm kind of curious about the weapons and all this other stuff I'm kind of be messing with. So, storage and parking, let's go two, three, four, then back to one, is what I, I can tell. In other words, those are your helmet, don't look at any relic containers. Basically, don't do 80% of what you do in, in other role playing games. Make sure you're not being a burden. There's an Atessa Driven port. First things first, though. So. Let's go here. Talk to the warehouse person. I suppose I pick a few things up. I'm gonna give him a high five. You wanted a high five? I'm gonna get a high five. And they see he's smiling now, guys. Wait, let's ask you about this. So I got a new thing now. Yeah, you can give me a brief. And basic field kit in your position and plays over two years. Any part of the kit is defective or gets damaged recently on the company's control, the company will be for replacement. 
Beautiful in the orange wing, not much to say about it. It's practical, comfortable, and made from coarse fabric. Yellow, de yellow denim pants, suspenders, a jacket, and orange shirt, and pleather shoes. Sign me up. I can appreciate that this is all new gear. Sometimes you get hand me downs. What else? So uh, they don't give out weapons in the warehouse, but in the area level 3, and another thing. Those in high gear are not included, but I certainly recommend purchasing them. And you have adequate protection, and I noticed this is in white. Oh. You can mouse over that for more info, that's pretty cool. So this is all my stuff, I guess. That's that cool first settler summit thing. Wind wing pants, Andy Wayne's jacket, my boots. I am styling. The dome is your new home looks like so gloves you would recommend. So let's look at gloves, eh? There's isolator engineer gloves, work gloves, silver wing gloves. I'm guessing because I'm just a normal worker, work gloves, that would be alright. Uh, I don't know how much money I have, frankly. So I guess we're going to see what I can do here with this stuff. Uh, and these are valued at 20. Alright, so I can put these on the table. I see, so this is a bartering system, guys. Like when they mean barter, they mean barter. Springs, fudge. So let's see what we can do here with Mr. Man's stuff. There's the engineer's cap. I don't need that. Where will power cell? There's canned beans. Not something I would try to be messing with on a space station or in a closed space. You know what I mean, guys? Uh, Alright, so to begin with, let's just look at the, uh, look at the, uh, gloves here, shall we? So, this is where we're gonna want to come back for, I have the idea. The electronics come the pair kit. He wants 36 for those. Um... So I have 40 from us right now, so we can get decent clubs, and I think we're going to, because... Now look at this thing there, guys. Cool! So this is going to be a down-the-road thing. These backpacks are a little pricey, eh? Um, but I'm not gonna judge yet, you know? Maybe there's a way to make some decent money in this game, and that's, uh, that's what we're gonna do. So, now, let's hit up my inventory, obviously. And, uh, we will dress me in, in things I should be wearing. There is my jacket. These are my paints. These are my gloves. These are my boots. And these are my bald head helmets. Come on, put it on the dome. There we go. Kind of look like a futuristic firefighter, I think, right? Um, so that seems to be that. Well, it's certainly not a bad start, I don't think. Do you guys? So now that we've done that, let's go get ourselves a weapon. Um, I'm gonna say one thing that I do like about this, so that I feel like you can really engage with people. Oh, is this a guard officer? Yeah, let's not play with him. Um, and I do like that too. I like that, uh, I have a feeling if I wanted to really get super creative here and get super curious, I, I, and I'm sure I will. I can tinker around and find all sorts of stuff. Yep, I was dropped. Oh, okay. I don't know if that helped me level up, but I will say that, hey, I made a friend. Now, this is interesting right now, and I like that the developer did that too. Um, I want to show you guys that. Like I said, I did tinker with this earlier. Um, had a long day at work. I started. I was actually recording this Let's Play a bit before, but I'm already Sorry, past where I was. Because um, you know I'm quite honest with you guys about this stuff. I'm not trying to blow smoke at anybody and pretend. But I do want to actually go ahead and make a new save here. 
So uh, this is Mr. No Name. I do wish I had remembered to make a name. That is my fault that I'm not at all blaming the uh, developer. This was on me. Uh, so, so far, things that I like about the game. The artwork is gorgeous, I'll tell you that. Um, it's, I usually I'll do one, say, called Beginning, and that's like my litmus one. That's the one I will not touch again, and usually that's one that I will use I, right off the bat. And honestly, I'll do three. The other two now, I will juggle back and forth if I'm really into a role-playing game, which I am into this one. Um, so, there will be a writing exploring, and then I'll like do another save here. And this is the bones method, guys. Three saves. One you don't touch after character creation and all that, so you have a baseline for your character, and then the other two for exploring and saving back and forth. Every other save will be one of those two, so I'll juggle them back and forth. You know, but it's unknowns in space, it doesn't matter, because basically as I go throughout the game, I'll juggle back and forth. And if I need to add ones for things that I feel are a... Um, actually, the lighting in all this is also really, really good. So he is an orange, this guy seems to be a security officer. Wow. Somebody might die. I feel like that little thing I just saw uh, play out is going to be useful eventually. I'm also hoping that I don't get in trouble for checking some of this stuff. But hey. So, this seems to be my acquisitions person. So, we have a talk. Big pneumatic super gun. It's got the crop. Uh, pneumatic gun for super gun. It's not technically working, but since when is it bothered the oranges? about the graphics of the weapon. I think that that is always a good thing to ask for anything that you accept for a real job, which obviously that's what's going on here. I also like that this is Chetomatic. Um, you can definitely see there's some nods to fall out, even in the artwork. Obviously there's a little pit boy thing going on here, but I do like it that it doesn't feel like a copy. This is definitely its own thing. No, that's true. You don't shoot anyone dead in the crowd doesn't need character. It's a practical thing. That's what's servicing the weapon. You can load that with more than just nails. Pebbles, glass, screws, coins, things you can play without bullets. Pretty neat. Look for the big gate. That'd be a dirty way for you. Just so you know, it's a little crazy if a good man nonetheless. Cool. You want a barter, lady? Holy captain. Look at these things. Little pizza, that's freaking crazy. This lady has the nicest plethora of crazy stuff since the plethora of crazy stuff. Uh, I mean, there's some nice stuff here. Cleaning kits and weapon parts. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know, man. 
Obviously, there's nothing I'm going to be able to give this lady that's going to amount to any of the stuff that uh, I would like to buy from her. Let's move away. There's a vending machine, bench to sit on. I'm gonna just take a quick look around. Let's even see what these drinks are like there. It's this face thing. There's a. okay. Basically, this noodles, this soda, so we need the big commodities here. That's the one thing that me. I'm just kind of having a quick look around, guys. Uh, you know me. Generally, there's nothing I will. Uh, I'm not going to get you chumming if I do. I don't know why I'm pretending to be a military dude with this facade, but that is where I'm at. I am curious as to whether or not I get in trouble in this game for searching the flower pots, but I'm doing it anyway. Because so far, as you see, I'm finding some interesting little things in here. Um, yeah. Like I said, you know, earlier when I was doing this, I do apologize, guys. I felt like I could not do this game the trip of justice. Uh, so I had to take a tiny bit of a nap just because uh, my work schedule has been crazy. And they have juggled it and changed it a bit here and there, so I feel like I'm all over the place with sleep. Your is in line, Kelvin. Jeez, Kelvin. The lady that wrote that is that other lady over there. And I'm not, uh, I'm not making her mad. Because she gives out weapons and armor, so that's a handy little tidbit of information. And that I can barter with cigarettes. I, I get the feeling that this is less of a opportunity, more of I am in jail. Than what this seems to be. I don't think that whole voluntary or non voluntary link is that much. And there is a deputy commandant, and we're not going there because why? Now I need to go to level four. Um, no, I mean it's kind of interesting because I feel like this does remind me of a lot of the four stuff. Level here. Minus four. Laboratories and hospital. Good. But in a different way, you know. There's something about this that, uh, art-wise, I feel like it does remind me enough of Fallout One and Two to give me quite a bit of nostalgia, but. I will say that another thing I like about it is that it certainly feels like its own thing. This doesn't feel like a carbon copy of anything. And believe me, if there's somebody like me who is uh, a big fan of games like Fallout and, um, you know, things like that in general, role playing games like that. Anything like that. Unless I need it. Ah, there we go. 
I don't know if this dude's probably crazy. Ah, oh, guys. I do apologize for jumping. There's a large banging in the background there. Uh, in any case, I'll get to the training. Hmm. I'm curious to see if there's like a crafting uh, table or something. It's gotta be something that can do with crafting. Maybe I need like a little multi tool? I'm not sure. But I definitely want to craft things. Oh, good lord. It would help if I read, wouldn't it? Well, let's see what we can make, shall we? An hour punch needed. The map, crack window, inventory, quest, and character. Uh, I don't. Uh, I'm just kind of having a look around medical and all these little areas. I probably shouldn't be taking as much random shit as I'm taking, but it is what it is. Right now I'm grabbing a ton of money, so I'm grabbing a ton of money. No, I don't want to steal anything from the life support system. I mean, that's, that's pretty brutal. Tell you what, this because I'm a little paranoid that uh, this will not go well. I am looking for somebody. I don't need a doctor's office. I need somebody to help me um, shoot me guns. Okay. Oh, this guy playing. He just basically brandished a pistol at me and told me to look around but don't touch anything. Um, too late. Already done so, sir. Nothing too horribly extravagant, but you know, kind of thing. So right now it's doing decontamination. Yeah, I definitely enjoy the scene so far. I feel like I will play this quite a bit. There seems to be a lot to explore and do. And so far, anyway, uh, I will say I find it quite interesting. Now this area here looks like there's just all sorts of good stuff to play with and grab, so we're going to try and get in here for that. There's one thing I know about role-playing games, it's that you always explore a lot. Um, I actually think role-playing games like this, uh, well, not necessarily like this, but the ones I played growing up, I feel I like why I like to explore a lot now. There's an empty cage here. There's some, uh, what looks to be like a glue. Almost like an electrical duct tape. I'm not quite sure what gray glue is, though. I know blue masking tape is good for it. <sighs> Painting, I feel like, much better than um, the yellow for painting. Now, if you are not in the United States, you maybe you have different colors of that still, I don't know. Let's play with the TV section right there. Let's still look at this. Basically, I'm the one person, in case you're a woman, but yes indeed, I would literally explore everything in an area. This looks fairly important. Um, most of this looks like a hospital, but I believe I was told, now that I was awesome, by the way, that I am here for combat, right? Is that what, uh, is that what the, the deal was? Uh, quests? Training day. It's a garrison of four three. So we're gonna track this one now that I know I can. So, alright, let's do that now. Now this time I've been wandering around like an idiot. I'm actually just going to go to 4 I think I hit 4 4, I cannot remember. And so, we're just going through this. I need 3.
Floor level, minus three. Garrison and isolation ward. I need to get here. I like the floor I had not listened to all enough to that, so I'll let that know. Alright guys, look out, we're we'll getting ready to train. Whew, it's so warm when it stops right now. So, there we are. We're ready. And exploring, you can save this next time it's around in space, back and forth. Until we either get out of here or, uh, or maybe I just can't. I don't know. So that is a huge suit of something that I want to wear immediately. Um, I don't know. I don't seem to be able to hit anything or not back drilling rig. That looks pretty darn cool. It's a servo shell. Oh, I'm really gonna say this game seems to give me more and more XP for uh, doing that, and you're right, I will certainly do. Oh my god, look at this thing. Now that is what I'm talking about, guys. Sweet. This is something straight out of a Morgan Marty K thing. Oh, she can look at so grab it. Let's take a look at this. Alright. Now, we're gonna go ahead. Search these boxes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, honestly, it's that's the one thing there that uh, sealed suit. That's it. That was something else. Holy cow, there's a dead dude there. Probably important to take a look at that. Um, honestly, too, I was going to say the other cool thing to me that blew me away so far about this game is how deep. Already, for a game that's not even finished, I feel like the character creation, the idea, the concept he's going with there, I feel like that's nice because in the end, I feel like uh, the... diversity of the talents, the skills, all that, the things that um, you're able to hone in this game and kind of make what you want them to do, uh, I think that's pretty neat.
is an edge of construction here. Basically, only missing one relic here. Okay, we're not gonna play this one much longer just because uh, A, I'm tired, and B, I need to sleep. Ugh, and unfortunately, I will be getting up super early. Um, yeah, this transition between work. It's actually the reason why I have done such fewer videos, but it does not mean that I'm done completely. I'm just... You guys are just kind of gotta bear with me there because I'm going back and forth between my time doing that and other things. for watching. If you like this game, please go check it out. The link for it will be in the description as usual. And uh, you guys have a great day, man. This has been a blast to play, and I tell you what, I'm entirely this is one of these sinking a lot of time into exploring and discovering everything because I love that. Alright, you guys have a great night. Thank you for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>